Hey guys, Pink Prince here, and welcome back to another video. So, today we are in the vantage point of Zone 4, and we're going to be doing that tower right there. It's all the way at the back. So, um, I'm currently in the vantage point. I already mentioned that. I'm gonna drop down here. Um, I always use the express tower access because it just trips you. Anyways, I actually had to go AFK for quite some time because I needed every image to load. It took quite a lot of time to load. So, I already did a guide on that one. Now, I'm going to do the one that's across. So, tower up is down by... Um, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name. Um, that and imaginary fox boy. Okay, here we go. Oh! You will lag a significant amount once you enter this tower. And I'm not joking, you will. So basically the gimmick of this tower looks like... It looks upside down, basically. And the gravity is weird, because... You see, this is a swinging platform and it moves up instead of like... Like drooping downwards. Same thing with this tie rope, it droops upwards and not downwards. So let's go over here. Um, and this thing is actually a, um, a jump ball. You don't even have to do anything on it. Anyways, now you just have to go down this easy parkour. And if you do this, you're going to be on floor 2. So this says use the ball underneath to reach the jump pad. I'm not sure if you can do this. No, you can't. But basically what you have to do, this is a wobbly boy. And you click this ball. And, well, I guess I already did that. But basically you want to get that ball so that you can stand on it on top. Then you want to go um, through that little gap. And then climb there. Now you're on floor two. Um, this tower has a really nice gradient. I could not replicate this gradient, um, so that's why there won't be, well, I guess there will be a gradient thing on the thumbnail. I'll try my best. Anyways, so here you have to push this backwards. So, push backwards. So, once you push this backwards, there's gonna be this that turned, so, jump on it. Um, now this tower is really easy until you get to, like, I don't know, floor 5 or something. But yeah, this tower is quite easy. Um, now here, th there's this tilty thing. A tilty boy, okay. Um, do not walk off that truss. Here is a conveyor. It's very slow. And this thing tilts, I mean, wobbles. Now here's this thing. Then you jump on this, move around. I have no clue why I jumped up here. Also, if you fall down there, you're gonna get teleported into the jail cell wh where you spawn. So, uh, yeah. Wait, where am I supposed to go again? Oh, right, I went the wrong way. Don't go here. It wastes your time. Go, go here again. I mean, not again, just ah! Now here, this is um, a physics puzzle. Um, you basically pull it like that. But then if you move it there, it's going to loosen it and push it forward. So basically, you want to make the rope move exactly backwards. So once you've pushed it exactly backwards, you jump on it and then move across. There's nothing much to commentate right now, as the tower is real easy. Someone just beat Toef. Okay. Now here, this is a beat block, and the way you do this, you have to jump in the middle, so... Yeah, you basically have to jump in the middle of both of these, and you have to go across it precisely like a tightrope. And now you can just jump over here. Anyways, go on that ramp. Do not go up here. Go down here. So basically, jump over here. 
Now this spawns a push box, and as you know, the tower name is up is down, so the push box will move up instead of down. Um, and this thing is a beat block ramp, so what you have to do... Yep. You basically want to make that box go through the beat block and onto the button. Now you can continue your way. Here's a 3x3 three three platform. And a conveyor bit. Okay, now this... Um, this just launches you. And here you can go in the middle. Um, now here, this is a really weird, really weird beat block. Um, but basically, it's like a wedge. Alright, now once you get in here, go across the other side. Try not to take too much damage. Now jump up sideways, because... Well, actually, I think you can go like that. But I tend to like to jump off. Um, but you're on floor 3, and this floor introduces some new, very cool gimmicks. So, here this has question mark, and that's an X up there, and if you've played classic towers, like OG towers, and the things fade out, you know that there's, like, a platform, so just push it across, and then walk off. Here you have some tilty boys. Okay, now jump onto there. Okay, now here is the balloon pushing beat. Um, did I just call it a beat block? Um, this is a balloon pushing push box thing. This balloon might be helpful with moving the push box to its button. So basically, we actually I have to do some. Okay, I am back. So basically. Um, what you have to do, you have to jump and hit this push block button, and then you go on this balloon. Now, basically, this balloon is a box, and it kind of sways, so you have to time it, or, or you could just go randomly, but this is my favorite way to do it, just l looking up. Now here, fly over here, jump off, or you can jump off and then walk over here. Now here, wait until it's down, then you can go on it. Then, go on to the higher end bit, and then jump. Because if you jump on the lower end bit, it's a bit risky, and you can just be flying off. Now here, this is actually a really cool thing. Oh, now there is a double win. Okay, so this is basically a pushbox gun, and this is not a pushbox killer. It's a pushbox indicator. It basically indicates where the pushbox spawns. So here you have to hit this button. If you jump, there's a pushbox spawner, and it spawns the pushbox. Anyways, this is this is a great example of an amazing weld trick. Oops. Okay, that one's done. And basically this is like a whole new sort of game. Oops. Okay, good. I did that. Okay. I completely lost track of the floor we're on. We are on floor four, I think. Um... I don't know. But anyways, we jump over here, jump on top, and then you have this sort of walking thing. Now please jump onto here, because that wobbles so much. So jump onto here, and then jump over here, because I almost fell on that. But luckily I saved it by, like, it, it just dropped me onto that thing. But anyways, this... This cart is welded to the zip line, so basically you have to align the zip line, jump off at the right time. Or I think it automatically dismounts you. Um, anyways, this is a really cool puzzle. Um, so you have this, and 
this is actually a physics puzzle, by the way. Um, but what you have to do is you have to push it so much that it goes absolutely violently sideways. Now, <laughs> time this so that you don't get flung off because that almost happened to me. So here you just have to climb up. This is quite of a short tower, by the way. Or the video might become really long. Anyways, that spinner is going to act like an uber. And it's going to pick you up. Jump on that side thing and then go over here. I don't know why I talked in a British accent there. Um, anyways, go over here and I think those are collidable. No, those are not collidable. Um, yeah, these are collidable, that's for sure. And then, this is a marble track, but upside down. Me when the up is down. Oh god. So basically, that's a tilty thing, and you have to tilt it so that the ball goes up and rolls into here. Then, this is a basic pusher, and the ball will fly to there. Anyways, go around, and I got confused on that part before. And then you have to go over here. Okay, I'm back. I'm gonna hold out my little bulb thing. I mean, it's a bell. Okay, so basically, there's this little X thing. And what you have to do, go backwards, please, and push it. It's gonna go whoop, and it's gonna land over here. This tower concludes many physics puzzles. Now, this um, platform is a spinny boy, and that is joined to this platform. And you see this? Of course, when you walk into a wall, it's gonna spin really badly, so... Oh, that barely even touched it. Okay. Go on that. Okay, I... Wait, is it actually possible to get flung? Yup, that is. That is possible to get flung. Um, that would not be very nice. I actually hit my head on it. Anyways, we're on floor 7, I think. Maybe. I have no clue. I think this is 6. So, um, let's go back here. Hopefully you remember that all neon parts are collide can collide false. However, if a neon part overlaps with another neon part, that region becomes can collide true. So, if you go over here, you can see that these two neon parts um, overlap each other, so it's not collidable. Um, now, here you just have to go on those. Basically, you have to go on the brighter parts. Now, here you have to go on the darker bits. And try not to get pushed off when you try and jump. Anyways, go over here. This is a quick jump. And that's a rotated T. Don't get squashed. And also don't get squashed. Jump down here. Go through here. And there's this. Oh, I hate those types of jumps. Okay, now here you have to jump on the brighter ones. So there it's left, right, right. Well, at least on my end and your Roblox character's end. Anyways, go on to this and then jump on here. So then, it's basically that other thing you did over there, but shrunken. Anyways, that was a really easy floor, but now you're on floor 7. How do I know this is floor 7? It's because of this. Now, hit that, rotate it, hit that. Basically, that activates the red bit, which is that, and this basically spins these. So then, align the purple one along with the path. And if your um, thing manages to get stuck, you can click the reset button. Anyways, click the purple and go across this obby that you have made. Um, now, do not jump to there. I was about to jump to there, but please don't. Anyways. Ah! 
Okay, that was a really weird sound. Don't forget to look up and down. So, here. That thing, this morpher is connected to that bulb. So, basically what happens is that um, when once you click this, this thing rotates that side. So, what you have to do, you have to quickly move that side um, before it closes you. So, quickly do this. I ho hopefully that made sense. I have no idea. Anyways, go through here and you have some spinny boys. That's not really any of a threat. And, um, alright. This is the thing that resets that contraption. It brings it back. But you have to click that first. Then you have to click this. And then jump onto this, and then jump, do the wrap around, and then jump. Okay, that's quite a tricky bit. But in my opinion, this is the same difficulty as Toe Fast. But I guess it's a little bit trickier because of the puzzles. Anyways, boop. So basically, this is the same thing as that other one, but these automatically move. So. So I think I have made my obstacle course. I think it was good enough. Anyways, go through here and go on the corner wedge and then jump onto this. Oops. Okay, now what you have to do... Oh yeah, right, this moves. Anyways, um, basically, above these buttons, a ball spawns. So... And you have to, and you can push this thing. So what you have to do, well, well, actually you can't align yourself, but sort of align yourself like this. So the first thing you have to do, push the pink ball and then move all the way to this side. Then um, push the red ball and then move it all the way to this side. Then push the purple ball, wait for it, and then move it to this side. Okay, now you can go over here. Um, there's not really much to commentate here. But anyways, uh-oh, looks like your jump ability has been removed. Um, there's nothing up here, but... Um, if you can hear this, that's me hitting my space bar. So, yeah, you know that it's not working. So, please don't get screwed over by that. And then, go through this bit, and go up here. Anyways, what this thing is, um, basically, it's one of these moving pads. So, just time it, and you'll be good. So then you have to drop down here into the X push zone. Then you have to hit this, and then go through there. Anyways, you can go over here, and now you can go inside. Or you could, I guess the alternate way is doing that again. But I guess the other way is easier because the other way is literally just an X pusher. Anyways, please go on shift lock because if you go on shift lock, you won't be like turning once you hit the wedges. But anyways, go over here and your jump ability has been given back. Now, boom, you're on floor 10. Um, yeah, th this is, wait, actually this was quite a long journey. But anyways, you have a survival, a survival bit. Oh, I'm making weird noises. Okay, now you go over here. Please do not jump over there. That's another door. But here, um, it's basically like that other puzzle on floor 8. That you press this, and then you have to move it along the tracks this time. Um, but try not to fall here, because that would be tragic. Anyways, I've hit that button. 
jump, jump, and then do not, do not accidentally like hit this, flick off, and then just fall all the way down to floor five. I think, I think it was floor five. Anyways, hit that. This thing will go whoop. Go up the beat blocks, and here you can just hold W. Th that's my easier way to do it. Now jump onto this. It's gonna bring you backwards. Hit the reset button first, and then do this. Now this is the most remembered part of this tower because Math played it in his Community Towers video. But yeah, lol. So this just treated like a shadow section. It's really not that bad. Anyways, you can do these wraparounds. Go over here. Oops. Try to somehow make the... Oh, yeah. So basically, this is a T-O-B-B-B -B -B thing. So jump on here. Jump on here. Push your fat body weight on this block. And then go over here. And then go back up, go back on this block, and instead, please don't put your fat body weight on the block. Now you do a wrap around. Great. Well, I c I'll meet you guys back up there. Okay, I'm almost back to where I fell, so go on this. Now this is a very bad jump. Wait, I'm gonna have to do something. Okay, so, um, as I was thinking there, I just saw this wedge, and I feel so dumb. Now, you can't hit your head, but I guess I'll just be careful. Now, here I have, um, climbed off of this somehow. Like, I jumped onto it, and then I slipped backwards. Anyways, oh, that's a really big accomplishment. Anyways, you have to push this into the win house. Um, please don't get shoved off by the door. Oh, okay, okay. This is a really bad jump for the wind jump. But I guess you can do this and then you can walk up to the wind pad. Yeah, that that's... That was pretty cool. That was quite cool, not gonna lie. But anyways... That's the Tower of Up is Down completed. If you want to see more of these guides, then please tell me in the comments or, and, or something. Like, you could just tell me in the comments on what tower you would like me to put a guide on. Now, remember, I, I don't think I'll do any difficulty above challenging or... Well, look what we have over here. Well, look what we have over here. Well, look what we have over here. Wow, that was really cool. Wow, that was really well, cool. Wow, that well, was really cool. Well, 